Code blue, code blue, we have a code blue. One, two. I'm interested in the Sims program because I want to be something in my life. 18, 19, 20. My mom's an immigrant, never met my dad. Ever since elementary school, she's been pushing me to become something. A high school counselor found this program for me. He said, uh, you really have this drive in you. How about sign up? Well, I'm the oldest of five. There's six of us now to take care of all of them. And my mom had to go to work. My dad was in and out of gangs. You know, he wasn't there for us. So it was all relied on me since I was 10. I come from a pretty small town. I guess my mom, she works as a tailor. My dad is still unemployed. Um, we don't come from a very wealthy background at all. My parents haven't gone to college either. So living with those circumstances, it's a bit, it's like, you kind of expect not to go very far in the world. I know I was interested in the medical field, but I had no idea what it was about. I got involved with Smith because I wanted to basically get like a further understanding of like what doctors do and what nurses do. I wanted to get hands-on experience of the medical field. Everyone in this program has gone through similar struggles and they have similar goals in life. Even though we all come from different backgrounds, we're willing to support each other and we're willing to help each other get to where we want to be. And then we'll just automatically get started. My experience with Smith is that I've met probably some of the top professors in the world. You know, some people that have won Nobel Prize, just some vast amounts of knowledge. And I've, I've learned that knowledge from these top professors. There is a lot of stuff that, I, that I've learned about medicine. The hospital environment, you know, how nurses interact with doctors, how nurses interact with patients, watch doctors perform procedures, biopsies. It's, it's really interesting, I think. I really like interacting with patients because you get to develop that person-to-person -person connection. It's like this inner feeling in yourself. When you get to know that you're helping another person, it feels really great. You could actually see where the blockage is. It's a thrilling feeling when you look at the images of the heart and all those blood vessels and the angiograms. It's amazing to be able to see into someone's body, to look into their heart and to just see how the heart functions and how the blood flows through it. It's, it's, it's remarkable. Currently we're doing research projects and it's on a college level. It's not like high school work at all. This program has given me extra confidence, I believe because it pushes me at a level that my school doesn't. It pushes me to try harder. My study habits have just like expanded massively and like I study for fun now due to this program. Like I study because I like to do it. At SMISP, you have very little time where you're not doing anything. At times, I admit it can get exhausting, but you learn a lot of life lessons within the program as well. You get to deal with what college life is really like. Living in Roth is something very interesting. You gotta get used to it at the beginning. I learned just how to like trust people. Living in a house with 23 other people, that's basically what you have to do. You have to learn how to trust others. So this program has definitely taught me how to do that. You know, we have a similar thing. We all want to go into the medical field. We have different backgrounds, but at the same time, we can all come together and like help each other out and we connect in that way. And back at, back at home is different. Everyone wants different things. Some are like discouraging and bad influences. Certain people at my school, they don't, they feel like education is as important as I do. I feel like that's my only way out of Oakland. And everyone in this program has the same drive that I do, which is why I admire this program so much. The students in Oakland are worried about being popular, doing drugs. Here everybody is just focused on their future, what they want to do, what they want to become, and how they can help people in the future. And I've made some of the closest friends that I probably ever make ever in this program. Wait, I'm clear. Running a code in the simulator was a pretty interesting experience. Knowing that like I could possibly save someone's life by what the, I was taught today was like just phenomenal to me. I guess the thing I found most surprising was how it felt to work on a team with other people, you know? Like if someone messes up, then you have to you have to back that person up, you have to support them. And everyone is dependent on each other. One more cycle, keep your arms straight. Each person plays a significant role. And like without that person it doesn't flow the same. Press analog. It showed me like this is how it's gonna be in real life. 
12, you have to get it yourself together and you have to do what's best for the patient and I really like that. This program is very important, um, not only for me but you know for other people because it really shows you different perspective of life. I feel like I'm more of an adult, more I have more responsibility. People are looking at me like, oh, that's a kid that might strive, that's a kid that's going to become something in life. I've definitely changed over the past few months. This program has given me a lot clearer focus on what I want to do in the future, why I want to do it. In 20 years, I hope to be a practicing cardiologist. I hope to have my own clinic. I want to be settled, I want to be financially independent. In 20 years, I see myself being a pediatrician and helping kids because that's just what I want to do. I saw what I wanted, but I didn't see the pathway to it. I was still kind of lost. Now I see I'm, it's clarity, like it's opened up to me. Like this is the path I need to take in order to get to my goal. If I want to affect other people's life, I have to start with mine. No, I'm going to go into a good university, do my four years, get my PhD in physical therapy, and I'm going to start doing what I love. My dream is to work in emergency medicine currently. I would like to be an ER doctor and it just gives me the sense of confidence and pride that I can make it farther in this world. I can go to college, go get an MD or whatever I want to do in this world. There's not really that lim limitation that I thought I had. It's not really a limitation, you know?